Now we can compare uh, these, this cost uh, factor with the cost of uh, pollution abatement when in fact um, uh, the government sells uh, pollution rights. That is, the government again decides that there are going to be uh, 10 units of pollution uh, in the uh, atmosphere. And it is going to create um, a pollution rights uh, equal to this. That is, there will be uh, 10 certificates or pollution rights that are going to be uh, auctioned uh, uh, off. Now we know that there are going to be 10 of these certificates or rights available and we should expect the price of these certificates uh, to uh, rise until the quantity demanded of them is equal to uh, 10. Um, we know that if the price of a ticket is $50, uh, we know that firm A will want to buy five tickets because it would prefer to pay uh, $50 for a certificate than to have to incur uh, the $100 of pollution abatement costs for the first unit of uh, pollution that is abated. It would, of course, want a, a certificate to avoid that uh, cleaning these units up also. So it would want uh, five uh, tickets. The same is true for B. Uh, that is, B would want would demand uh, five of these pollution rights. C would demand the same thing, again, because the cost of the rights at $50 is greater than the cost of pollution abatement, and D, E, so forth. So the total um, uh, quantity demanded of these pollution rights is equal to 25. There are only 10 of these certificates um, uh, available. Well, we can uh, go through, test out other uh, prices, for example, $101. Well, at $101, uh, Firm A would prefer to uh, clean up this unit of pollution uh, as opposed to paying uh, $1 more for the uh, certificate. That means that uh, Firm A would demand four tickets. Uh, firm B, of course, would demand five. C5, D5, E5, there would be 24 uh, tickets being demanded. Well, we know the price will continue to rise until the quantity of these pollution rights demanded equals to the 10 that are available. And I won't go through the step-by-step -step process. I'll simply uh, note uh, that the price will rise to, to about $1,500. Uh, at $1,500, the quantity of pollution rights uh, demanded will equal the 10 that are available. We can note that by virtue of the fact that A would demand would prefer to clean up this first unit of pollution than to pay $1,500 for the right to avoid cleaning it up. It would prefer to clean up the second unit than to pay for a certificate to avoid. Of course, the third and the fourth. But uh, A would prefer to pay uh, $1,500 uh, for a uh, pollution right, which would allow it to uh, emit one unit. And it would prefer to do that as opposed to incurring the $1,600 um, uh, pollution abatement. So A would demand uh, one uh, certificate. Uh, B uh, would demand uh, uh, three certificates. Uh, the reason is that it would prefer to clean this unit up, incur $200 uh, as opposed to paying $1,500 to avoid it, and that one. But it would, it would prefer to buy a certificate than to clean up this unit or this one or this one. So B would demand uh, three uh, tickets. C would demand no tickets. And the reason is that it's cheaper for C to clean up than to pay $1,500. Uh, D would prefer uh, to pay for two tickets. It would clean up these three units because it's cheaper to do that than to pay the $1,500. And then it would buy uh, two tickets uh, to, um, uh, to avoid cleaning up these uh, higher cost uh, units. Uh, firm E would demand uh, four tickets. It would prefer to clean up the first unit, but then avoid uh, the four units. So we have here um, uh, Firm A demanding one ticket, Firm B demanding three, Firm C zero, uh, D uh, two, and Firm E uh, four. So one, three, two, and four, that equals uh, 10. So the quantity demanded is equal to uh, the um, number of uh, pollution rights available. Now the question is, what is the cost of, um, of cleanup? 
In this case, A would incur uh, this cost, this cost, this cost, and this cost for a total cost of 100, 200, 400, 800, or a total cost of $1,500. Uh, B, on the other hand, would incur a cost of 200 and 600 in pollution abatement uh, costs. Uh, that's a total of $800. C would incur the cost of cleaning up all five units, or its total cost would be uh, uh, $3,000. Uh, and a D would incur uh, the cost of cleaning up three units, which is equal to uh, $3,000. Uh, and, and E would incur the cost of cleaning up one unit, or $1,000. Well, the total cost of pollution cleanup for these uh, uh, five firms, when they're buying pollution rates, is $9,300. Uh, dollars, which of course you can see is $4,200 less uh, than the cost of cleanup under the uh, pollution uh, standards. Uh, in other words, selling rights to pollute uh, uh, is more cost -e effective, and it's simply more cost effective because we have uh, the more cost effective polluters uh, doing the cleanup. And in the case of producing bicycles, we want the most cost-effective producers producing bicycles. Uh, in this case, we want the most cost-effective polluters uh, to uh, produce the pollution abatement. And that's what you get. The price goes up to where it's better for A to clean up uh, and allow somebody else to uh, uh, pollute. Now, the interesting story about, uh, about this analysis is that while the cost of cleanup under selling rights to pollute is much less than the cost of the standard, uh, the politics uh, favors the standard. Uh, firm A uh, incurs a cost of $700 uh, for the um, uh, uh, standard method, or incurs a cost of $700, but incurs a cost of $1,500 under the um, under the um, uh, a pollution rights um, method. In addition, it has to incur uh, $1,500 to buy uh, one pollution right. So firm A would prefer uh, the uh, pollution standard. Firm B incurs a cost of $2,600 under the standard method. It incurs a cost of, of $800 under the uh, rights to pollute uh, method. But firm B would be buying um, uh, three tickets, spending $4,500 on them, total cost of $5,300 uh, to the firm, which means that firm B would prefer uh, the standards method. Uh, firm C incurs a cost of $1,200 under the standard method, $3,000 under the uh, pollution uh, rights uh, method, and it wouldn't be buying any, any tickets, but still it would, of course, favor uh, the standard methods. Firm D incurs a cost of $3,000 under the standard method, $3,000 under the um, uh, pollution rights uh, method, but firm uh, D is going to be buying two pollution standards, two pollution rights, which is $3,000, which again means that firm uh, D would um, uh, be in, would favor the uh, pollution standard. E incurs $6,000 under the pollution standard, uh, Firm E incurs a cost of $1,000 under, um, under the pollution rights uh, method, but firm uh, uh, E also buys four tickets, which is $6,000, which means this total here is $7,000. So firm E um, would uh, favor uh, the standards method. So we have a, a situation here where the pollution rights method is more cost effective, but the politics is one in which uh, uh, the firms would vote for the standards method. 